Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and this is a continuation episode of the main menu tutorial we're doing for Mixed Play Interactive. So in the other videos, we've created a button, made the button play a sound, an image, and show some text. And now we're in the point where we're making a main menu and we're gonna split it up between casual viewers and VIP users. So if you're confused on where I'm at, watch the previous videos and it'll all catch you up to this point. So once you've went to the default menu and added patrons and subscribers, that's all the classifications of anybody that's gonna be watching you all in one spot. So your default users, your patrons, and your subscribers will all go into the default menu, which is your main menu. So, we, so we're good there. Casual room. This is where we put our casual viewers only. It's casual viewers, save changes. And so that means if they click casual viewer, they are no longer gonna be classified as a default user, a patron, or a subscriber, and then they're gonna be classified as a casual viewer, which is gonna allow them to enter this room and then press the casual viewer buttons. VIP, we're gonna change this one to VIP. Hit save changes. And so now if they're in the VIP room, they are gonna be no longer classified as default patron or subscribers, and they're gonna be classified as a VIP user. And so that's gonna allow them to enter the VIP room and then press the VIP buttons. So we hit OK, and we're good to go there. So let's go back to the casual room. So in this casual room, they've clicked the button, they can hit the air horn. Now they are tired of the air horn, they wanna go ahead and cheer, but they wanna go back for this. We go, here's our go back button. We're gonna click edit, and then we're gonna go down to effects. We're gonna keep the permissions at none, meaning everybody in here can press this button. If we change this group or stuff, if we change this group or individual, Basically, some people may not be able to hit that go back button. So I'm gonna hit none, add a new effect. We see change group and change scene. Now, the common sense verbiage of all this, people would think, oh, change scenes. I wanna change to the different scene that I'm in. And that does not work. No matter how much you try, change scene is not the one you wanna choose. You wanna change group because you're changing them out of the casual viewer group back into the default group where they can press the default buttons. If you use change scene, it's just not gonna work. If you get it to work, that's awesome. Let me know, that'd be crazy. Maybe there's a benefit to it that I don't know of, but I've never gotten it to work. This is the best way to do this to me. So we hit change group and we're gonna change them to the default group. And that's basically gonna change them to the default menu. So we hit add and then we hit save. And then once we've done that, let's go ahead and test it out. So we enable our stuff again. But before we do that, we're going to have to go back to the default room and we're going to have to make casual viewer change your group. So if they go into the default group, they're going to hit casual viewer and then we're going to make an effect. Click new effect at the bottom and then do the drop down, go down to change group and we're going to throw them into the casual viewer group. Hit add, hit save and then the same thing with the VIP edit, scroll down, new effect drop down, change group, pick one, VIP group, hit add, hit save. And if you ever want to test a button or it's not working correctly, one of the best things you could do is toggle the connection off and then bring it back on. And that should refresh it here on your mix play buttons. So let's go back to mixer, see our buttons. Now we have our main menu, casual viewer and VIP viewer. We go casual and now we're in our casual menu. We hit the air horn which does nothing because our initial air horn, all the stuff we did is in our default menu. So none of that stuff carried over because this is a new button. Oh, we're tired of the air horn, let's go back. We're at our main menu. And now VIPs only, let's go ahead and enter that. Once we clicked in there, we are in our VIP room. That's good. And oh wait, the back button doesn't work. I'm stuck in the VIP room. That's because we didn't tell the back button to go back to default. So we can easily fix that. If we go to VIP room, go back. And then we change the new effect, drop down, change group, and they're gonna go back to the default group, which is our main menu. Hit add, save, and then let's see if that worked. And it did, cool. So main menu, casual viewers, go back, VIP viewers, go back, and there we go. We have successfully created a main menu. Now we want to make the VIP viewer uh, specific to VIPs only, patrons and subscribers. To do that, if we go into our default, then we go to VIP viewer, edit that, 
We want to do this. We want to click permissions. Not everyone. If it's on none, that means anybody can click it. If, we, if it's on group, we could say who can click it. And this is where back in the viewer groups icon where we created the patrons, this is where it's going to come into play because this because we can tell it patrons are allowed to click this. So subscribers are allowed to click this button and we scroll down. Patrons are allowed to click this button. So now if you're a subscriber and a patron, which is the only two things, you know, on your channel that are different than a casual viewer, they can hit VIP. So we go down here, hit save. And so now, since you're testing this, I'm on my Scrapyard Films Mixer account right now, so I'm still allowed to hit this because I'm the owner. But if we go back, if I log in and I'll skip ahead, I'm gonna log out and log into the other one, Jhamma. Okay, so I have logged into my other one, Jhamma, right here, and I am on Scrapyard Films Mixer page, so I see all these buttons. And then if I hit Casual Viewer, I can hit the air horn, do all that stuff, go back. If I hit VIP, you do not have permission to use the VIP viewer button. That's what it's going to tell regular people who aren't patrons or subscribers when they try clicking that button. And it's whispered to them by the owner. So if we go back though, just to show you, if we go to viewer groups, go to our patrons, let's say somebody's like, you know what, this guy's awesome, I want to support them. Hit edit, and then we want to add the user. You have to do this manually, so whoever becomes a patron you have to put their name in. So let's say Jham becomes a patron. Add, save. They are now in the patrons group. Then they can now click VIP viewer and get in. And there we go. So that's gonna wrap it up for this main menu tutorial. We have learned how to create a main menu and we have learned how to let casual viewers go into one area and VIP users go into another area and classify all that with group changing. So if this video helped you out, be sure to throw a like and subscribe on this video because that'll really help me out. And in the next video, we're gonna learn how to do some more stuff. So if you wanna swing by my channel, you can see the other videos I have. I have a bunch of tutorials and gaming videos and just a lot of stuff and giveaways that you can check out. So you may find something that you like, but that's gonna wrap it up and I'll see you guys in the next video.